Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to do a video on how to mod Hollow Knight using Scarab Installer. Uh, what I like about Scarab Installer is it works on the latest patch of Hollow Knight, which is 1.5, so you no longer need to down patch the game to 1.4.3.2. So to get Scarab Installer, uh, it's available on GitHub, which I will leave a link in the description box and the pinned comment to make it easy. Now it's version 1.9, and it's going to work on Linux users, Mac users, and Windows users. So this is fantastic. It's for everyone. You don't just have to be a Windows user. So I'm a Windows user, so I'm going to click on the Windows zip and download the Windows zip. Now I'm going to go down to my downloads, and here's my Windows zip file here. Now you can put this, uh, we need to extract this. You can put it anywhere on your computer, just because it's not important for me right now. I'm just going to create a... Uh, a generic folder here. We're going to extract the files. And you're going to have a whole bunch here. You're going to have a few different files. The Scarab execution program is this one here. Just double click it. And it's going to ask if this is the correct path for your Hollow Knight. For me, it's in my program files, Steam, Steam apps, common Hollow Knight, because I have the game via Steam. If this is not the correct path, hit no. And it will prompt you to manually select the correct path. But for me, that was actually the correct path. So for me, it's going to prompt me. I'm going to say yes. Now, not every uh, it's got almost every mod for Hollow Knight. There's still a few that need to be added on there. But basically, everything's here. And it's in alphabetical order. So it's very easy to find everything. So for instance, um, I use debug mod, uh, uh, debug menu a lot. So that's going to be under D, which is just here, debug mod. I'm going to install that now. You can click it, and it's going to give you a quick description of the mod. But sometimes it will also tell you prerequisite mods that you need. So for instance, on change HUD, which will be under C, I click this, a mod that lets you use different kinds of HUDs in the same mode. It depends on Varsi. So if I wanted to use change HUD, I would need to go down to Varsi, which is down the bottom here under V. Here's Varsi, a library with some utility classes. So let's install that, for instance. You can see it's installing down the bottom, the timer. And then we can go back up to change HUD and install change HUD. Another instant, another example of this would be uh, Blind Radiance. It says here, make background darker in selected scenes to make foreground objects more visible, but it depends on the SF core mod. So you'd go down to S and you would get the SF core library mod used by other mods. All right, I don't actually want to install that, but that's just an example. Okay, so the ones that I use most commonly are the debug mod, which did I actually install that? Debug mod here. Let's install that. And also Bench Warp. Bench Warp. Let me just check to make sure that it doesn't depend on any other mods. No, nope, we're good. So we can install the Bench Warp. This little blue bar at the bottom means that it's installing. Okay. So there's a few other things. Uh, there's a few other utilities in the Scarab menu that I'd like to uh, just go through. So right now I've got it selected to all, so it shows everything. If you just want to see the mods that you currently have installed for quicker, uh, easier access, just click installed, and it will only show you the ones that you have installed. Now notice here, you have this right column that says install that lets you know if it's ticked, it's installed to your computer, and then enabled whether you actually have it switched on or not. And I have these installed, installed. So if we go to installed, you can see which ones you have installed. You see, I haven't got change hard enabled because I actually don't want to use it. Same with Varsity, actually. Let's unenable that. And then the enabled ones just shows me which ones are in installed and enabled. And then there's the out of date mods, which I don't have any currently. And then also down here, you can. Uh, uh, there's a button if you need to update the API or if you want to disable it. Um, you can open mods, which is going to take you to your folder where they're saved. So it's in your Hollow Knight folder, Hollow Knight data, managed mods, and there's going to be a folder for each mod that you have installed. Finally, you have change path. So if for some reason you need to manually change the path that the modding API is working on, you can do it here. Okay, let's get in and uh, try out a few mods. Now, remember, you do need to install uh, the you, uh, Scarab installer and have the mods installed and having the Scarab installer running before you go into Hollow Knight um, in order for it to work. So 
don't have Hollow Knight already open and then do this because you'll have to close the game and then restart it. Now in the boot up screen for Hollow Knight, you see this white bar. That means that that was loading the mods. And we can see here in the top left hand corner, I've got the modding API, the bench warp and the debug mod. The modding API is referring to Scarab Installer. As we can see, it's version 1.5. And we've got the bench warp and the debug mod. So we'll just go in and I'll just show you because there was some confusion about how to use debug mod from my last video. And I just want to clear that up now very quickly. Okay, so to use debug mod, you have to pause the game first and then press F1. Um, there was some confusion from my last video where people weren't pausing the game and were just bringing up the, the debug menu with F1. But if you do that, you can't actually select anything. You can't, you can't select anything. So get out of that. You've got to pause the game first, then press F1. It doesn't have to be done at a bench, by the way. I can get off. Pause the game, press F1, and look, I can bring up the cheats, infinite jump, infinite soul, infinite HP, invincibility. I can get the charms, menu, skills, you know, items I can get, uh, buy all the geo here I want, revive, uh, respawn bosses. Um, just got to make sure you pause the game with escape first and then press F1. F1 will bring up the entire menu. F3 will just bring up your game states. So it just tells me, you know, um, I have two of 46 scrubs, I've got 29% completion, etc. And then that's just F2. F4 will bring up your event log. Okay, and then for bench warp, you just have to hit escape. Uh, you don't have to be at a bench, you can be anywhere. And then you have all your benches here. So uh, for instance, let's go to green path, stag station, hit warp. Okay, so that is how you install uh, Scarab Installer. It works on the current patch. You do not have to down patch the game. Uh, I'm going to link to the Scarab Installer both in the description box and in the pinned comment. I'm going to have in the description box some links to some other Hollow Knight tutorial videos that I've done. Please like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.